Okay, if you have problems using a USB mic with Pro Tools first, this video shows the workaround that helped me. The key is to use a free software program called ASIO for All. Now, because this video is meant to be a part of the series on how to record your own music, we'll quickly go through the very simple and straightforward process of setting up Pro Tools first, and then how to make Pro Tools first and the USB mic play nicely together. One thing before the Pro Tools installation, I made sure that the USB mic works with Windows. I went to the Windows settings, System Sound. I like to rename my devices so if any program refers to it, I will know that it is my device. And I tested the mic by speaking to it and making sure the volume bar moves. So I installed the USB mic. Windows 10 recognized it with no problems, but when I installed Pro Tools first, it wouldn't even see the mic. Here's the Pro Tools installation steps. Go to the Pro Tools download site. I added the link in the video description. You need to create a free account to download the file. Later on, you will use the same account to connect to the Pro Tools cloud because that's where your songs recorded with the free Pro Tools first software will actually be stored. They're not stored on your computer. They are stored in the cloud. So make sure you write down the email and the password you used to create that account. Download the Pro Tools first zipped file. Click Extract All, and once the files are extracted, right-click on the Setup file and choose Run as Administrator. Accept all defaults, and when the installation completes, reboot the computer. After rebooting, you'll see the Pro Tools first icon on your desktop. Double-click to open. The very first time you open it, it will display a welcome window telling you that you will be directed to the playback engine to set up what Pro Tools will use to play and record your music. Then you will see something like this. This tells you that Pro Tools will be using your Windows audio device, which is the way you have set up your speakers and mic in your Windows settings. The output device which shows what will play back your songs, will probably be your speakers set up in the Windows setting panel. But more than likely, your USB mic will not be in the input device dropdown. Now, if you can see your USB mic as the input device, then congratulations, my friend, you are all set and ready to go. But if you have um, the same experience like me and your USB mic is not there, I'll show you the only workaround I found by adding a small program called ASIO for All. To get the ASIO for All software, go to the asioforall.org, the link is in the description of this video, and download the latest version. Right-click on a downloaded file and run as administrator. It will install that software on your computer. Once done, reboot the computer. After you reboot your computer, you cannot really access ASIO for All. It kinda initiates only when you start Pro Tools first. When you start Pro Tools first, go to Setup Play Engine. Not sure if you remember, but when we initially installed Pro Tools first, Playback Engine had only one choice, and that was um, Windows Audio Device. Now we also have another option called ASIO for All. So go ahead and select ASIO for All. Now you didn't see it, but by selecting the ASIO for All in that dropdown, it also added another option that wasn't there in the Setup menu. And now you can see a new option called Hardware. And we will set up a couple of things um, in the hardware window. But in order to do that, we first have to exit Pro Tools first and then reopen it again. Make sure the blue arrows show next to the mic and speakers, because that means ASIO has now access to the mic and your speakers. All right, if we set everything right, we should be able to use the USB mic to record the tracks in Pro Tools first. And here's how to test if it works. Add a new track, arm for recording, and say something. Now, if you see the volume bar move, 
You did it, my friend. It's almost time to celebrate. But j just to double check, um, enable recording, press the play button and say something. You should see the actual track being recorded. And if so, you are ready to record in Pro Tools first using your USB mic. One last thing about the ASIO for All options in the hardware menu, the samples. The higher the samples number, the more delay between the moment your voice or instrument goes through the microphone and the moment you're gonna hear it in the headphones. If there's too much delay, it's gonna drive you crazy once you start recording. The smaller the numbers of samples, the shorter the delay. But in most cases, if you set the samples to a really small number, like below 100, you will cause other problems. There might be crackling sounds, stopping the recording, or just straight crashing of Pro Tools first. If the default 526 samples works for you, then you're fine. If not, then I would suggest decrease it to 256 and see if that works. If you can work with that, then you're good. If delay is too long, try to decrease the number of samples even farther, but without getting into the problems with the crackling sounds and crashing. Now, every computer is different and will have that sweet spot of the minimum numbers of samples it accepts at different value. I don't think that on my computer I was ever able to set it below 200 without getting into problems. Okay, thanks for bearing with me and my accent through this workaround of setting the USB mic and Pro Tools first. I hope this saved you an hour or two of frustration and bunch of F-bombs I had to drop before getting it to work. Have fun recording!